Hey, there are many of us who are anticipating arrival of the next iPad Pro, likely in September. But latest leaks from one of the most reliable industry insiders may have just pushed the spotlight to the next year, pointing at the reveal of alleged 14.1 inch iPad. And if we are to trust the origin of this information, this seems confirmed. Hi friends and welcome to this to marketing channel. My name is Marco and this is your dose of Apple news, leaked information, tech rumors and reviews. Make sure you subscribe, leave a comment below, hit the like button and don't forget to enable all notifications so you don't miss the next video. This one is powered by Moft. Check out their awesome origami style accessories for iPhone, iPad and MacBook. Just click on the link in the description or in the pinned comment. Get a discount with digital marketing channel. Now let's go. The arrival of the first iPad Pro back in 2015 showed that Apple has bigger plans for its line of tablets. Much faster processor, quad stereo speaker setup, huge 12.9 inch display and the introduction of Apple Pencil were initially made for specific, more demanding users. What started with digital artists in mind quickly turned the iPad Pro to much wider target audience. What's a computer? What's a computer, you ask? The iPad Pro not only changed the rules of the game, but for the past couple of years, it set much higher expectations that Apple is willing to fulfill at the moment to make this device a true MacBook or any laptop replacer. All kinds of accessories as well as hardware upgrades has almost made this possible. But the software was, and still is, the loose end. Recent presentation of the iPad OS 16 unveiled a stage map Manager, one more feature that should improve workflow on Cupertino's tablet. Stage Manager will equally be present on the upcoming iteration of the Mac OS. This doesn't mean anything, because Apple doesn't want the computer as we know, but according to their own rules, standards, and vision. With the Windows style management coming to the iPad models, we should not be surprised if Apple suddenly decides to bring in form factor that exceeds 12.9 inch display diagonal on their tablets. Let me remind you this is not the first time that we hear something about it. Previous year, Mark Gurman from Bloomberg mentioned how Apple is already working on the new iPad Pro with up to 15-inch OLED display. Rumors regarding the OLED technology and the iPad have also been speculated for some time, with most recent ones predicting 2023 or 2024. Just a few days ago, CEO of Display Supply Chain Consultants Ross Young posted a tweet where he confirmed, at least according to his sources, that 14.1-inch iPad Pro is most definitely real. While this could be one more sign how Apple is blurring the line between the MacBook and the iPad, specs have never been under the question mark, but again, it was the software. If Stage Manager is only limited to M1-based iPads, we may expect further differentiation between iPad lineups, its capabilities, and the apps. According to Young, 14.1-inch iPad Pro could be showcased in quarter one of 2023, which means that Apple's spring event, and this perfectly makes sense. Can we hope for more advanced iPad OS features coming after in June on the next WWDC? Should we even guess? What I believe for sure is that if folks from Apple indeed make much more obvious step in that direction, it will be different than on the Mac, and you should not expect surprises yet. Yet there is one more thing that tickles me, the internals. 2022 iPad Pro lineup will likely arrive with the M2 chip. Should we expect the same from 14-inch version? That's a tempting question since there is no way that Apple will make this model as thin as, for example, 11-inch variant. Potential extra thickness may be relevant for durability even if typical users normally don't sit on their tablets. Sorry, Jerry, rig everything. Could this mean that Apple can unleash more power within their giant iPad Pro, bring a more capable edition of the M2 or maybe even Pro-class processor? I don't know. The latest chip is still product of 5 nanometer process and in terms of power efficiency isn't far away as much from its predecessor. The good news is we can anticipate 4 nanometers or even 3 nanometer processors in 2023 which could match perfectly these projections. But that's just guessing. 
Whenever we get 14 inch iPad Pro, it will cost a fortune, likely starting at $14.99 or even more. But to everyone that wants such a huge and powerful tablet, this will not be a problem. Personally, I was always in love with the iPad and I've been considering more than two years to use it as my main and only machine. Will this be possible in close future? We will see. Let me ask you, would you buy 14 inch iPad Pro? Please answer below. That would be all. I hope you enjoyed this video. Video. If you did, make sure you subscribe, hit the thumbs up, and turn on notifications. Thank you so much for watching this Tamakin channel. My name is Marco. Talk to you soon. Have an excellent day. Bye.